Bye bye tokens. Hello friends, today I'm going to share with you a new research paper which is quite groundbreaking and I believe it can be a huge uh, game changer in the world of AI and LLMs. It's a research paper that was published by uh, Meta. I'm going to share with you um, the research paper and then a few implications. This video is going to be kind of technical. I must admit that some of it was even very technical for me, so I tried to dumb it down using LLMs. So I will also show you the process of how I try to explore these new ideas and how I try to learn because I invest a, a few hours every day trying to learn this game and it's constantly evolving and there are new concepts that are being introduced all the time. So it's uh, very important to be with your eyes on the ball and on the other hand it's um, very humbling because there are so many new concepts all the time so it's not so easy to um, stay up to date anyway so this is the new research paper we will dive into it in a moment before we dive into it I want to give you a bit of context and um, let's go over a few terms that you should know um, and they are mentioned in the research paper so we'll do this very quickly LLM is a large language model, a type of AI system trained on, on massive amounts of text to understand and generate human language. Real world examples, ChatGPT uh, that can write essays, answer questions and help you with coding. When you use Google Translate, you actually use uh, an LLM which converts between uh, languages. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. Let's move on. Token. What is a token? It's a small piece of text that an AI model uses, uses to process languages. Examples of how words get split into tokens. So play is playing, hamburger is can be hamburger, unfriendly. It's like breaking down words into Lego pieces that can uh, be put back together. And it's important that you know all this stuff because it's related to what we're going to explore in a moment. A concept is a complete idea or meaning that makes sense on its own. and this will make sense to you in a moment. So just an example, the red car is parked in the garage. Uh, she felt happy after getting an A on her test. So this is a, a concept about an emotion. This is a concept about a car location. What is an embedding space? It's an organized way to represent words or ideas where similar things are close together. So imagine a classroom where all sports equipment is in one corner. All our suppliers are in another corner and all books are in a third cor corner. Sonar uh, is a system that can understand sentences in many languages, both written and spoken. So an example, it can understand I love pizza, which is in English, j'aime la pizza, which is in Francais, assuming that I know French. I used to study it in, in junior high school, but I think I, I copied most of the test. Autoregressive is basically what LLMs are doing so predicting what comes next based on what came before and this is important because this is how uh, LLMs are working uh, these days they take the recent tokens and they predict what will be uh, the next tokens that will come up so this is how they generate response so if I say the sky is you might predict blue in Mary went to the store to buy you might predict groceries or food so this is how LLMs work it's like playing the game where you finish someone else's sentence. Diffusion, a step-by-step -step process of creating something, starting with noise and gradually making it clearer. So an example is, think of developing a Polaroid photo. It starts completely blurry, then slowly it shapes and becomes visible, and finally you can see the image. So the AI does something similar when creating texts, text or images. Parameters, um, is, are the pieces of information an AI model learns during training. So example, if your t brain is learning to recognize cats, you might learn cats have pointy ears. This is the first parameter. Cats have whiskers. This is the second parameter. Cats have tails. This is the third parameter. The more parameters, the more detailed understanding that you have. And 7 billion parameters, which is uh, some LLMs have 7 billion parameters, means 7 billion different pieces of information. What is zero shot learn learning is when AI can handle new tasks without specific training. So for example, if you learn to ride a bicycle, you might naturally understand how to ride a scooter. 
If an AI learns English and Spanish separately, it might be able to translate between them without being explicitly taught how. So these are basically um, like the jargon that you need to know before diving into this new idea by Meta, which is called large concept models, language modeling in a sentence representation space. And basically what they are doing, they are creating a different way to um, build AI systems. So this is the abstract, we will cover this, and then we will cover um, a summary that was produced by Gemini, or perhaps by OpenAI, because I use both of them. And then I will share with you a podcast that was generated with Gemini, I will say Notebook LM. If you're interested, stay until the end. If not, if you get the idea, if you get the gist, um, you can move forward. Um, I will obviously share the link to the research paper in the video details. Anyway, so LLMs have re re revolutionized the field of artificial intelligence and blah, blah, blah. Okay. In this paper, we present an attempt at an architecture which operates on an explicit high-level semantic representation, which we name a concept. Concept or language and modality agnostic and represent a higher level idea or action in flow. Hence, we built large concept model. Um, the abstract isn't good enough, so let's just move here because this is the summary. I used ChatGPT in order to generate the summary for me. And let me read it for you. So, here's the summary. The uploaded paper introduces a new kind of artificial intelligence model called large concept model. What are they trying to do? By the way, I asked it, I usually ask it um, to explain as if I'm in eighth grade, ninth grade, etc. So, imagine human beings or, write, or, or writings, talking or writing. We don't think word by word, we think in ideas or concepts. Current AI models like ChatGPT or Claude or whatever focus on predicting the next word, which is like thinking one step at a time. Now, the researchers at Meta want to make an AI that can think in the, uh, in the whole idea like humans work. So they introduced the concept of a concept. A concept is like a full sentence or a big idea. Instead of working with words or part of words, which is called tokens, the AI processes and generates the whole sentence as a unit. The research, uh, the research used an existing system called Sonar, which can represent sentences as a mathematical object called embeddings. And embeddings are like um, fingerprints for sentences that summarizes their meaning. How, is, how does it work? The model breaks down the text into sentences, and each sentence uh, is converted into a concept. Then there is a concept prediction, the AI, pre the AI predicts the next concept, and the model then generates meaningful sentences in any language or even speech. Uh, why is this cool? So it doesn't care about the specific language, this is in my, in, uh, my opinion not so crucial, and this is, uh, but it is closer to how humans reason and plan things, and it can handle larger pieces of information compared to older AI models. They also did a test and they showed that the current AI models, while they focus on individual tokens, a uh, path of word, can lead to errors in understanding the bigger picture. And large concept models tries to solve this by focusing on lar larger units, basically the sentences, the concepts, making it more coherent and better for longer and complex tasks. So I then asked it to generate um, a deeper explanation. I'm not going to go over this. If you guys are interested, I can share um, this in the comment section. But what I would like to share with you is like the bottom line produced by Notebook LM, which in my opinion is a very powerful tool for learning. Um, so what I did here, uh, I uploaded the PDF and I came here. And over here, you have an ability to upload a PDF, a source of data, or even up to 50 sources of data. And it can generate a podcast for you based on your instructions. So I asked it to uh, create a short and funny um, podcast conversation between two uh, avatars explaining the research paper. And 
What's cool about this is also interactive, so you can join the conversation whenever you want to ask questions. So let's just listen to this together. Obviously, if you got the gist or you want to move forward, uh, please free, feel free to do so. Just before you, just before you go, uh, if you have criticism or uh, feedback for improvement, leave them in the comment section. If you enjoy this video, please make sure that you liked, uh, like the video and subscribe. Now let's listen to this. Uh, I already listened to it. It's pretty cool and it explains the concept very well. I think this concept is very powerful and can be a real game changer. So I think it's pretty useful for those of you who are interested in expanding the knowledge. Um, and yeah, just listen All right. with Welcome me. back everyone for another deep dive. This time we're looking at, uh, well, it's a pretty big one, a new paper from Meta. They're really aiming to make AI think more like a human. You know? Yeah, definitely ambitious. It's called uh, Large Concept Models language modeling in a sentence representation space. And they're basically saying the way we've been building AI is, well, kind of flawed. So like, imagine trying to lose weight and you're only thinking about one calorie at a time, right? Like right. every single grain of rice you eat, it'd be, mm. it'd be exhausting. You'd miss the big picture. Exactly. You wouldn't be thinking about balanced meals or exercise. You need a whole strategy to be healthy. And current AI models like ChatGPT, they work kind of like that. They're good at picking the next word, but they don't really get the meaning of what they're saying. Like a, like a linguistic calorie counter. Yeah, great analogy. But us humans, <laughs> we think in concepts and ideas. We use sentences, full thoughts, not just words strung together. So how do we, how do we get AI to do that then? To think more like us? Well, that's where this new research comes in. They're proposing something called a uh, large concept model or LCM. And instead of predicting the next word, it works on whole sentences. So it's like giving AI a meal plan instead of counting calories or even like giving it a whole business strategy, but for language. Exactly. So by looking at whole sentences, these LCMs could understand and generate, well, hopefully much more meaningful text. Okay, I'm with you so far. But how do you, how do you even teach a machine to think in sentences like that? It's pretty cool, actually. Imagine a map, okay? And each point on the map is a sentence. Similar sentences are close together. Different ones are further apart. This is called an embedding space. So like a giant map of sentences, like a linguistic Google Earth. Haha, <laughs> yeah, something like that. And the LCM learns to move around on this map. It figures out how sentences relate to each other. And then it finds the best sentence to keep the text going. Like a, like a super smart GPS for language. You've got... Let's see if it works. Oh, it starts from the get-go. All right, welcome back, everyone, for another deep dive. This time we're looking at, uh, that's a pretty big one, a new paper from Meta. They're really aiming to make AI think more like a human, you know? Yeah, definitely ambitious. It's called uh, Large Concept Models, Language Modeling in a Sentence Representation Space. Let's and they're basically the, saying the way we've been building AI is we start is from the get-go? Kind of yes. So, like, imagine trying to lose weight, and you're only thinking about one calorie at a time, Right, like every single grain of rice you eat, it'd be, it'd be exhaust. Oh, our listeners got something to share. Let's hear it. Yeah, please move forward to the part in which you explain the concept detail. And afterwards, just tell me what, why is it different from the current model, LLM, and also what are the limitations? Absolutely. That's a great idea. Okay. Let's unpack this large concept model idea, and then we'll definitely cover how it differs from current LLMs and their limitations. Yeah, that sounds perfect. So instead of having an AI look at language word by word, this new model, it looks at the sentence as a whole, as one big concept. So it's like, instead of counting every calorie, the AI is given a full meal plan. Or like, instead of focusing on individual words in a business plan, it has a whole strategy in front of it. Exactly. It's about understanding and generating meaning, not just predicting the next word. By looking at entire sentences, the AI is able to create text that makes more sense. Okay, I'm following you. But how does the AI even understand and work with the sentences like that? How does that work? Imagine a map, a sentence map. Uh, yep, go on. What are the limitations of this based on the paper? That's a fantastic question and it's super important to consider. Let's get right into the limitations of this large concept model. Yeah, we were just about to get there anyway. So the paper points out a few key things. First, this whole system relies on something called sentence embeddings, right? Yeah, the sentence map we were talking about. Right. Imagine this map is a little shaky. A tiny change on that map can completely change a sentence when it's turned back into text. So a small error could lead to a sentence that just makes no sense. That's kind of scary. Exactly. And some sentences are more fragile than others. They're more susceptible to these kinds of errors. 
makes sense, like some sentences are more straightforward? The researchers are trying to make these sentence embeddings more robust. They're trying to build a stronger map so the points don't move around so much. Okay, that's good to know. So what about comparing it to the way existing LLMs work? How is this different from how current LLMs work? Well, most LLMs focus on predicting the next word, and that word has to fit within all the words that came before it. They don't have... Okay, I will pause this because it's supposed to be a bit uh, repetitive and boring. Uh, I did a mistake that I joined the conversation after we started already listening. Anyway, I think you, get, you guys get the gist. Uh, I think it's a very important concept. Actually, very innovative. Most of the research I've seen, mostly by companies who are trying to make slight adjustments or incremental improvements to the LLMs, and Meta just came and kind of suggests a completely shift how to build these models. So it's very interesting and I definitely going to keep an eye for any updates by Meta. If you guys are interested, I highly recommend that you join their newsletter. They have a ton of updates. They they really pushing forward a lot of AI research. So you can come here and subscribe to the newsletter. I know some people think that Meta is evil. I'm agnostic. I think they are doing great innovation in the space. I don't know what is like their end goal, but anyway, it's good to be informed. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And until next time, keep on automating. Bye-bye.